Hi everyone, here is Abdurrahman Anwar for the very first presentation regarding to Fortranet in the air of quick off meeting. The title of my presentation is Development of Novel Edible Photonics Barcode for for tagging and tracing. It will be supervised by Dr. Matya Chumar, Joseph Stephen International Postgraduate School, Ljubljana, Slovenia. Here is the content of my presentation. In the start, short introduction about myself and then motivation to apply in Foodrunner, research background, and then PhD research topic in which I will explain about uh, project goals and the expertise or technique that will be utilized to attain these goals and then bit about the previously reported photonics barcode techniques. Okay, here is the short introduction about myself. I did master in engineering sciences from Ghulam Issa Khan Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology, Pakistan. And uh, the title of my research thesis was detailed investigation of light emitting diodes for the emission of the green light. And it is pertinent to mention that I got gold medal from president of Pakistan because of the outstanding performances of research during this tenure and i served there in the same institute as a graduate assistant as well for the two years and i did bachelor of science in physics with the specialization in electronics uh, from government college university Faisalabad from 2014 to 2018 now i will explain about my motivation to apply in foodrunnet here is the prominent point as a motivation to apply in foodrunnet First of all, nobility and high impact on both social and economic level because there is no good food packing mechanism a part of the packaging and paperwork. In this project, we will introduce edible photonics barcode for food tracing and tagging. Secondly, it is an interdisciplinary project and offering from great platform because the skills and expertise that will be utilized from photonics, chemistry, material, engineering, and the application side like food sciences like uh, food tracing and tagging and then pharmacy and other application and for the security purposes the most prominent point is the facilities and track record of the research lab that is homer lab regarding the research areas very effective and outstanding now i will explain about my research background but i'm not going to explain it in a detail uh, this is conventional device structure of gallium nitride based light emitting diode and the mainly focus was the enhancement of the efficiency of the green LED because the efficiency of blue LED and red LED is already good in comparison to the green light for the successful conversion of the white light from RGB we have need to enhance the efficiency of the green light these are the mechanism that is ongoing inside of the LED that is injection of the electron, injection of the hole and the possible ways of recombination that is OJ, SRH and the radiative recombination. This is the idea that we introduced in comparison to the uh, conventional device structure that is the active region with the variable thickness of the uh, quantum well and quantum barrier. In the next slide, I will explain about the characterization of uh, this device in comparison to the other possible device. So here is the internal quantum efficiency with respect to current density and uh, light output power with respect to current density. So all of these here is four comparable devices and uh, LED A basically the conventional structure and B and C where is only very quantum well or quantum barrier thickness and in LED D that is I already showed in my previous slide the thickness of quantum well and quantum barrier both are varied in a same device you can see here the efficiency and lightweight power of the led is good in comparison to the all of the other devices i'm not going to explain the behind mechanism because the shortage of time and on the other side here's a modulation where we propose one of the model by introducing the missing factor and compare with the experimental data and previous model the approximation of our model is very good in comparison to the all of the other previously reported model. And now here is the topic of my PhD research and here is the main highlighted objective 
uh, of our project that we will try to attain it during the tenure and first of all there is a possible suitable edible material for optical barcode in which we will try to explore the properties of different edible materials as for the application of the optical barcode and uh, we will try to optimize their characteristics by assembling in different ways by using different technique and then finally comes up with edible photonics barcode then for the decoding their information we will try to develop a cost effective and easy to handle optical barcode reader and then for the stability test we will uh, utilize mass spectroscopy technique and these of the photonic barcode embedded in the different food and we check their stability after a day after a month or after a year or somehow and then finally we will analyze the behavior of consumer and industry in order to the acceptance of these photonics barcode so here is the technique uh, that uh, we will utilize it in order to attain the goals that is mentioned in the previous slide so first of all synthesis of biocompatible and biodegradable material and uh, for the application of edible photonics barcode then microscopy and spectroscopy surface science and sem and uh, furthermore physics of the biological matter we will utilize their skill concept in order to the implement of the novel edible photonics barcode for food tracing and tagging now i will explain briefly about uh, other barcoding technique that one of them is micro molding uh, here is a way to assemble it one d direction just in order to enhance the possible combination uh, for the barcoding technique that here is a way to cross two and uh, there is a microscopic images for two cross two barcodes and here is three cross three just to increase their possible combination and these of the images from uh, the decoding of their information by using smartphone with the help of the micro lens there is another barcoding technique that is utilized for the application of sensing uh, temperature or a ph and to utilize it as a barcode here is uh, utilize polymer solution by stop flow lithography technique to prepare it as a barcode and a sensor and here is the microscopic images of the sensor and barcode and uh, this images for the decoding of the information by using smartphone with the help of the micro lens and finally thanks to all of you for the attention